There we go. So basically, as I stated, a Trojan program is a program that backpack rides on other programs or application. It's a kind of software that, how say the words? The more you use a software that goes in the folder, the more dangerous it is. Take an antivirus program. As you can see, this is what some antivirus programs look like. They look for a signature, which is this. This would duplicate and spread in the V Center 4735. And it would do whatever it wants when it closes it off with the semicolon. Then the antivirus program will block any signature that looks like this. Now, what a Trojan does. It's in a like, yeah, I'm gonna backpack off of that and change it up to come right here. Now, this antivirus firewall program will look for this. The best way to block these is to add an extra signature and they deal with every variety, but usually you just use a randomizer machine that constantly, constantly, constantly look for these signatures. delete file, rename files, and stuff like that. Now, rootkits, on the other hand, are a different story. They are looking for administrative rights, basically. Logic bomb, bots, spyware. We all know what spyware is. Key loggers, screen loggers, freaking adware, freaking other bullcrap stuff like that. Those are key loggers. Key loggers basically there's a uh, what's the word for it? I won't do it on this one, but in the computer system there is Hold on, I'm do this. Anyway, back to the stuff at hand. I was gonna go into the file itself and decrypt the file and stuff, but basically what a key logger does is look for a certain section within the file itself and start key, uh, copying the keys as you stroke them in because all keys have memory inside a computer. It's usually just a program. Uh, in terms of hacking wise, it's kind of not that programming. Just know your programming, basically. That's why I use Mac, because not many people use C+. Most people use Windows, which is C++. If you know C, you're usually supposed to know all, but if you're not you're too used to it, you're going to be stuck on C. I mean, C++. Now, I won't do any protocol, but it's just me sewing it, but it's vision, which is, you already know what that is. Spoofing phone numbers, pretend to be someone else. Smishing. Which is doing the same thing with text messages, bull crop informers, which is DNS catch poisoning. Now the DNS systems, which I have never even heard of. Then there's DNS, which is domain name server. Uh, DNS systems, domain name systems, and then domain name servers. I was going about by domain name servers due to the fact that, you know, that is the way I'm trained. A domain name server is a website with a Technical name that you see on your end, like www.google.com. Usually, there's a IP address with google.com, which is I think it was 129.83.72.12, and usually that's in the address resolution protocol by the dynamic host control protocol, which end up looking for the conversion of IP address in the cache security system based on the domain name register. Blah blah blah, bull crap, and don't get too confusing in it. This is but more about hacking, but you know, vishing, smishing, welding, forming is all a form of social engineering hacking. Like if some random person come out, what's your date of birth? Like why why tell you my information? Where you from? I'm from the moon. That's where I'm from. That's social engineering, but it's the same thing as vision to spoof ID. Don't worry, my ID is getting spoofed right now because the people are close by in this area. It's the same thing with vision, smishing, and forming. Now, tailgating, you know where tailgating is far right behind someone. Dumpster diving, that's why you shred everything before you throw it in the dumpster. Show the stuff and be careful with the ATM machine. There might be a camera right near your stuff. Hoaxing, water hole attack. 
like police and stuff. They can use that for hacking. You can have random douchebag dressed in a police clothes. It's not illegal to wear a police outfit. It's not even legal to have a badge on. You just can't force the law as if you're a police. It could possibly be a police stripper just coming from a job. Who knows? This has become part of the brainwashing group as well with Samaritan liking. Now, we're not going to do IP spoofing or max spoofing, but I will jump into the hacking section. Yes. As you see with the coding here, there's usually two kind of codings you need to know with hacking and stopping the hack as well. Yes. Actually, I'm going to stop on this one and I'm going to switch it over.